Hey guys, it's me, Stormy, and here's your weekly horoscope for the week of March 19th. So before I jump in, I heard you guys, some of you guys wanted to be able to take the Astrology 101 and 102 classes in the summer, so I've got summer classes up for you. Come visit me at stormygrace.com, or you can click in the description box down below. All right, this week is kind of a cool kickoff week. We've got the spring equinox happening, so spring, we're in a new season, fresh start, new growth, really delicious. Mercury's taking its retrograde this week, actually the first one of the year. We've also got a Mercury-Venus conjunction this week, Venus and Pluto having a harsh time, and also the Sun and Mars coming into a challenging aspect this week as well. So let's walk through what all of this means. First and foremost, we get to the 20th. The Sun moves over into the sign of Aries. We're at the spring equinox. It's one of two days that happen every year where the sun is just right overhead hovering there at the equator and we have equal day equal night that's equinox right so it's super cool it's an amazing time so what does that mean for us well when we hit our equinox time, when we hit our equal times, we want to look at the balance that we have in our lives, right? Where are you? Where are you between work and play, right? Home and work, you and others. Where is the balance in your life and how can you look at recreating that if something feels like it's tipped out of balance? And it's also just a time too, to spend the time with that sun in Aries doing Aries-esque things, moving, getting physical, taking care of your, your head, face, and eyes because Aries rules the head, face, and eyes. So these are things that you can be thinking about and just kind of incorporating into the language of your life as we're here in this new spring reset season. It's the beginning of our astrological year, so it's a very, very exciting time. Now on that exact same day to keep with this Aries energy, we've got Venus and Mercury in a conjunction here. Now they're both in the sign of Aries, which means communication is going to be very direct. <laughs> Right? So if you're kind of a, a gentle speaker, you could even find yourself being a little bit more abrupt, being very direct, wanting to talk, wanting to think about one thing at a time. But it's a very busy energy with Mercury here and it's retrograde. And really, we're going to see this energy in Aries for just about 10 weeks because we've got to survive the retrograde and then it's got to move direct. So we're going to have this busy kind of communication. And don't worry if you feel a little bit scattered. Do your best to just kind of push pause and slow down. One thing at a time is really the way to go here. Now, what is a delicious thing to be doing during a retrograde is, of course, finish the things that you have started. Go back over. Look to the past, right? Where is this happening in your chart? Look to the past. Mercury retrograde in the sign of Aries. What can you redo, revise, re-edit? Who are you reconnecting with? Any of these things could be on the table for you. This is also a really great time with Venus involved, and because she's about money and evaluation and things like that, it would be a great the time to um, comparison shop for anything maybe that you want to get into, relook over your budget, and if you've just been in certain situations, even if it's something at work or in a relationship and you're like, I'm not sure that this exactly fits my values, this is a great time to reevaluate those things. So use your time wisely, renegotiate some things that'll actually make things easier for you as you move forward in the year, and expect expect, expect delays. Mercury is retrograde. Expect communication delays, transportation delays, and all of those things. Try and go with the flow. Now, we also have Venus and Pluto coming into a square. This is going to be Friday the 23rd. Now, when these two come into a square like this, this is very deep energy. Venus and Pluto actually feed very well off of each other, but in square energy, they can become very intense, very um, entrenched in each other, very impassioned. It just can be so intense, and Pluto is naturally obsessive, right? So this can be an obsessive time. Now, while I think that this level intensity can actually create some issues, some deep issues, as a matter of fact, I also feel like there's a strong positive. This is where you could get serious in love, right? Serious in love, serious in romance, serious in finances. It's having a transformation and all of it can be looked at to be empowering you because whenever there's a square, the square says, I want your action now as opposed to an opposition, which we can work with for quite some time. So this square may be just pushing you and alerting you into some kind of action that needs to be happening right now. 
Now, when we get to the end of the week on Saturday on the 24th, we've got the sun and Mars tangling up. And this is actually, I think, a little bit challenging when these two come into um, square energy because what's going to happen is Mars wants to go, the sun wants to be vital, you just want to shine, you want to do your thing, you want to have your life together. Mars is like, let's move, let's go, let's do things. Mercury is retrograde and you've got this Venus-Pluto energy happening as well. So for you, it could just end up feeling a little bit overwhelming because remember, the primarily what the energy we've got going on is very Aries and it's one thing at a time. Mars and Aries like to focus on one thing at a time, yet there's all of these moving parts that may be going on and you may not be sure which one to focus on. My advice to you is this week, first of all, don't be afraid to say no to some things. Don't be afraid to slow down this week and don't be afraid to reevaluate, right? Like if you will reevaluate, is this going to matter to me tomorrow? Maybe it's not. Here's the other great question I think for this week. Is everything okay right now? Because if the answer is yes, everything's okay right now, you can kind of slow your speed down a little bit and see where to use the depth of the week to get the most juicy decision making and the most juicy experiences out of it that you can. Now, of course, if you're having a harder week, that doesn't make it a bad week, you guys. We have to experience what we have to experience. But there is certainly a space in here where if you can stay calm and chive on, you <laughs> maybe will have a little bit more of an enjoyable experience this week as we... Feel these energies kind of swapping around for us as we're here at this fresh start of our brand new season. So good week. I think there's going to be some hiccups, but ultimately I think a pretty good week. All right. All right, guys, I hope to see you in class. Sign up for Astrology 101, 102. We've got 102 starting again in April as well. So click in the description box down below. Hope to see you in $3 Thursdays. And just know that I love you tons and tons and tons. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Bye, everyone.